there's a review of the world fertility rate that came out for 2019. And this came out in the world population review Dot com, and it breaks down all of the nations around the world so you can see where there is a population boom or a population decline. So um, the vast majority of countries in the world with the highest fertility rates are in Africa with Niger topping the list with 7.153 children per woman, followed by Somalia at 6.123 children uh, per woman, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Mali, Chad, follow at 5.963, 5 point nine two two and five point seven nine seven children per woman respectively the north african country of tunisia has the lowest fertility rate on the continent at 2.147 but they're still above the replacement rate children per woman a figure that puts it roughly in the middle of the 200 countries listed. Southeast Asia, island of Timor-Leste, also makes it into the top 10 with a fertility rate of 5.337 children per woman, while other island nations such as Sayo Tome and Prince Sip Principi at 4.361 children per woman and the Solomon Islands. Actually, the Solomon Islands, some of you may know, um, was an island gifted to King Solomon. This island was given to him as a gift. And it still bears his name. 3.77 children per woman are also within the top 50 countries with the highest fertility rates in Europe, Ireland, and um, France have the highest fertility rates at 1.98 and 1.973 children per woman, which is below the replacement rate of 2.1, while the United States averages at 1.886 children per woman, which is also below the replacement rate. Two of the most densely populated countries in the world, China and India, have fertility rates on the lower end of the scale at 2.303 children per woman. India ranks at number 94 on the list while China is much lower at 1.635 children per woman. Remember, they messed themselves up with that one child rule. And not only did they mess themselves up and mess up their population, because you have this disproportionately large elderly population in China now and a much smaller, younger population, they also screwed themselves up because they got this huge number of males and a very tiny number of females in the country now. So they're, they're really messed up. They're not coming back. However, both of these figures are likely to be affected by government policies and cultural expectations around reproduction in these countries. Taiwan has the lowest fertility rate in the world at 1.218 children per woman, closely followed by Moldova and Portugal, where there are on average 1.23 and 1.241 children per woman. So take a look at this chart, y'all. So you can see Africa, most fertile in the world. And everybody else is simply not. 
You can see Niger at the top of the list, followed by Somalia. And they have 6.123 children per woman. The Demo uh, Democratic Republic of Congo at 5.963 children per woman. Mali at 5.2, I'm sorry, 5.922 children per woman. So you can see how they rank here in number as well. And it's just nothing but Africa at the beginning. Chad at 5.797 children per woman. Angola, 5.589 children per woman. Burundi, 5.577 children per woman. Uganda at 5.456 children per woman. All African nations. Nigeria at 5.417 children per woman. So these women are not having problems getting birth. And the only comeback they have is, well, they don't live as long, but actually the life expectancy in Africa is going up. You know, I guess that's just something that makes them feel good. Well, yeah, they're more fertile, but they don't live as long. Well, they're still fertile enough to keep themselves alive, aren't they? I guess your money and all that college cheating is not going to change that for you. Mozambique, 5.143 children per woman. Tanzania, 4.924 children per woman, Zambia, 9 point, I'm sorry, 4.901 children per woman, Benin, 4.867 children per woman, the Ivory Coast. So you can see which is uh, 4.811 children per woman. All of these are African nations, every last one of them, as you can see. Liberia, 4.481 children per woman. Sudan, 4.134 children per woman. See, none of these nations, their women are not having any problem whatsoever bearing children. Sierra Leone is at 4.319 children per woman. And then followed by Iraq. And by the way, the Middle East is Africa. It's just the Brits went in there and named that section of Africa something else. But the whole thing is Africa. The whole thing is. Iraq, 4.266 children per woman. And more African nations, Palestine. And I know this is one of the complaints that the Jews have about the Palestinians. They have no problem having children. They have more children than the Israelis. Palestine at 3.91 children per woman. Ghana at 3.893 children per woman. Yemen, 3.837 children per woman. Rwanda, 3.781 children per woman. Kenya, 3.774 children per woman. Solomon Islands, 3.77 children per woman. And you can see Zimbabwe, which is right here, 3.626 children per woman. Papua New Guinea, 3.588 children per woman. Okay. Israel, 2.92 children per woman. And you have Haiti right here. Haiti is at 2.848 children per woman. More African nations, Botswana at 2.651 children per woman. Lagos at 2.623 children per woman. See, all of these nations are well above the replacement rate. All of it. 
And you see some South America here, South Africa, right here is at 2.414 children per woman. And we know who's responsible for that. Um, let's see. Okay. You have... Mexico right here, which is sitting at replacement rate at 2.136 children per woman. But, you know, I was reading that their birth rate is also on the decline. And you see some of these South American places that are below El Salvador at 2.053 children per woman. Jamaica is at 1.991 children per woman. Ireland at 1.98 children per woman. New Zealand at 1.974 children per woman. France at 1.973 children per woman. If y'all remember the prime minister of France went to Africa and pretty much told them to uh, stop having babies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now you see why, because they can't have as many babies as them Africans. He went to Africa to pretty much get in front of the crowd and tell them not to have babies. Remember, some of y'all might remember this. This was last year he did that. Yeah, right. Them Africans ain't going to stop having no babies because you said something to them. Get out of here. That ain't going to hardly happen. Georgia, which is uh, Russia, they're talking about. one9 Seven one children per woman. Sweden at 1.909 children per woman. So you can see all of these are below replacement rates. The United States, 1.886 children per woman. The United Kingdom at 1.871 children per woman. Australia at 1.832 children per woman. Norway, 1.8 to seven children per woman. And you can see these are all European countries, all below the replacement rate of 2.1. Um, Belgium at 1.799 children per woman. Finland at 1.782 children per woman. Denmark, 1.762 children per woman. Russia at 1.751 children per woman. The Netherlands, 1.75 children per woman. Belarus, 1.706 children per woman, which, which is Eastern Europe. Albania, 1.705 children per woman. And you can see Brazil is there too. You know, like I said, some of South America, they're also dropping in numbers. They're at the same number at 1.705 children per woman in Brazil. Lithuania, 1.661 children per woman. Slovenia, 1.638 children per woman. I think this is where Melania is from. China at 1.635 children per woman. You know, big nation, but way below the replacement rate. Iran, also on a decline, 1.621 children per woman. Um, Bulgaria, 1.584 children per woman. In fact, they're trying to come up with all this paying people to have babies and give them free homes and um, free child care and all that stuff. They're trying all that mess and they're still not having more children. Czech Republic, 1.566 children per woman. Canada, 1.563 children per woman. Wow, Canada's in worse shape than the U.S. Uh, Switzerland at 1.549 children per woman. Romania, 1.54 children per woman. Italy, which has one of the lowest uh, at four, I'm sorry, 1.491 children per woman. 
and Puerto Rico. And you know what? This shocked me. I had no idea. Um, it wasn't until Hurricane Irma, I believe, when a lot of them started leaving the island after Hurricane Irma and Maria. I was watching news coverage and it was saying that Puerto Rico was experiencing a low birth rate. And I had no idea that was even happening. And it's at 1.47. And this is the island, not the Puerto Ricans that are living in the United States. They're still having babies. But the ones on the islands, they weren't, they were hardly having any babies. And that was revealed. Germany at the same rate as Puerto Rico at 1.47 children uh, per woman. Slovakia, 1.462 children per woman. And it just goes on. I mean, it drops even lower. Here's um, Hungary at 1.397 children per woman. And Christopher Columbus, his stomping ground at 1.391 children per woman. Spain. Yeah. Wow. Greece at 1.302 children per woman. Poland, this is where my neighbor is from, 1.29 children per woman. Singapore, 1.26 children per woman. Portugal, 1.241 children per woman. Uh, Moldova, 1.2. 2.3 children per woman, and Taiwan, 1.218 children per woman, which is the lowest in the world. You see that, y'all? So, no, it, it's really true. You see a lot of the Asians, because you got Hong Kong right here, uh, 1.326 children per woman. South Korea, 1.323 children per woman. And you see a lot of the European and Asians at the bottom. Look at the ranking numbers. It shows you where they rank. It goes all the way to 200. So, I mean, this is not good. And out of 200, the United States rank at 135. We ain't nowhere near the top. <laughs> okay, nowhere near the top of the you know, the highest reproducing countries. So now you see where many of these countries stand. And what I will do, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave this in the description box. And if you're from other parts of the world, you can take a look at where your country ranks as far as reproducing is concerned on this earth. Very interesting article because you sure won't hear this anywhere else. They won't tell you this on mainstream news. They keep this quiet because they know their numbers are slipping. They're on their way out. And ladies and gentlemen, they can't turn this thing around. Now they'll, they'll, oh, we'll give you money. We'll give you a car. We'll give you house, free daycare. We'll do this for you. We'll do that. And it's still not boosting up the numbers. And now they're trying to treat abortions almost like a felony now. It's not going to work. You know why? Because your time is up. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.